Hello everyone, this is Fazana from Fazana Slow, and in today's video I'll be sharing with you all my LPC journey as a legal practice course student as well as my grades or the final result of my LPC and also a big announcement at the end. So if you're interested to find out all of these things then please keep watching this video till the end. Before I reveal to you all my results and what I got and everything else, I want to talk about my experience as a legal practice course student. So I want to talk about in terms of the months that has gone by in terms of the illegal practice school so what I have done so between September to October 2021 I remember that it was very overwhelming for me because I felt like there were too many modules for me to cover I had to do I had to attend all those tutorials I had to listen to all the lectures I had to make notes and also prep for my workshops as well so it was very overwhelming for, for me to really understand how to really gauge everything and balance everything out and between November to February 20 um November 2021 till February 2022 it was kind of like exam period like I had exams left right and center every time and it was very overwhelming for me because within those months I remember that I had to do like almost I would say seven to eight exams I'm not really sure but I have to count them out but it was like very overwhelming and between March to June I had my stage two which was for my option modules for example media commercial and employment law that's what that's the ones that I have done but everyone's um, obviously choices are very different but these are the three that I chose and the reason why I chose these three is because they were not coursework not number one and number two they were not presentation based and number three they were um, you know open um, open book exam style basically assessment style so these are the reasons why I chose those particular modules and between July to September I was actually doing some of the exams that I had deferred um, let's say in February that I couldn't do or maybe the ones that I did in June that I couldn't do as well and I deferred them and I did them and I sat them in August and in that way I actually completed my whole entire year and that's how actually my whole entire looked it was very overwhelming very roller coaster of a journey I didn't know at times I wanted to give up at times that's how bad it was and I just wanted to give up my dream of becoming a solicitor and it was very very hard for me but now I'm going to move on to some of the truths that I have hidden from you guys in terms of in the vlogs because I didn't want to share those things during the vlogs because it was very personal to me but now I'm going to be sharing them with you all One right of the undeniable truths that I want to reveal to you all is the fact that I have failed some modules in this course and this has never happened before but because the exams are very hard and some of the skills I've never encountered them before um, it was very challenging for me to really pass the first time around but the second time around I managed to do so and I successfully uh, passed on those and I was really really happy with that and um, although not everyone knows that I failed some of the modules and some of them I did I didn't and all, all sorts of kind of things um, this was a very personal journey for me which is why I didn't want to share them with you all as I was going through it I wanted to make sure that after everything is done I'm going to share with you all the honest truth of everything of my journey some of you have asked about my results and what I got in some of my emails and I'm hopefully going to be sharing that with you all and at the end of this video and I'm really excited for that and as I've mentioned in the intro I did receive my results in October 2022 which is basically yesterday 17th October 2022 and I'm really excited I'm not really excited I'm just pretty normal about it but I'm just really excited for the fact that I'm going to share with you all the same thing as well so now I'm going to be moving on to revealing to you all my results so the 17th October 2022 is when my results was revealed and it was given to me at 5 a.m. I received an email that my results have come out and my heart was very pumping very fast because I had to be successful in some resets and I was very scared of that because once you fail the first time, once you sit an exam the first time around and then you're confident about it but then you fail, you feel like your world is basically destroyed but and when you do the reset and you have a bigger like bigger fear that you might not pass because you already failed the first time around so that's how I exactly was feeling yesterday at around 5 30 to 6 a.m when I woke up because I could not sleep honestly in the night because this was much more nerve-wracking for me um, than when I opened my LLB results um, about a year or two ago uh, I remember in the LLB I was much more confident that I had put in the hard work I, I had 100% I given my 110% but this time around it was very different for me because I knew that I didn't put that much hard work into this because it was so much for me to do and at some point I had given up but with LLB I was very consistent with my hard work with my efforts and everything like that but this time around it was very hard for me because 
I didn't know. Um, and I, I had failed some modules and everything like that. So it was very overwhelming for me to really open those results. And I did pass everything. And I'm so glad I did. And I'm going to be having my graduation in January. Hopefully that's what I remember. I'm not sure. January 2023. And uh, these results mean a lot to me. And these are the three questions that I'm going to be asking myself right now to really understand how much valuable these results and this pass really means to me. So the first thing that I want to ask myself is how does this outcome or result really change my life? It really does change my life because now whenever I will call all those law firms to find a job, I will not be stuttering or I will not be feeling belittled about myself or I will not have low self-esteem thinking that, you know what, they might not accept me because I haven't passed my LPC or anything like that. But, but now that the fact that, that I have this confidence in me that is sealed in me that I did pass my LPC, it gives me this sense of confidence in me that I can become a solicitor one day. And the specific field that I want to do, I will not be share that I will not be sharing that with, with you all right now. But hopefully once I get a job that I can actually call myself that way, then I'll reveal to you all what kind of field I'm really going forward or the field that I really want to go in and it's not something that you're expecting maybe from the way I look but anyway um, this result has definitely changed my life I see myself as a solicitor now um, you know sometimes you know when I was 14 years old I never thought that I will be thinking like this and I will become a person like this because when I was 14 I was a hot mess I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and so on but now that I consider myself and I see myself and I am a solicitor it makes me feel like anything is possible in life and this should be an inspiration for you all who are going through very several different kinds of things in your life you should definitely definitely make sure that you are giving your best and anything is possible and I want to be that example for you all. Whoever is going through stress and feel like that your life is a hot mess and you cannot achieve anything, you're not good enough, I'm an example for you all that anything is possible. So the second question that I want to ask myself is why is this valuable for me and what does it mean to me? I kind of really touched upon that on the first question but it is really truly valuable for me because as a mother, um, as a mother, um, not as a mother, I'm not a mother, but as my mother is a very hardworking housewife and I give this whole outcome thing about my life, my whole education, I've credit to her because she has never been that kind of a mother who really forced me to do any household chores or help me, you know, help her in cleaning or anything like that because in, usually in a normal household, it is very normal for the girl to actually help the mother with cleaning, cooking and all those kind of things. But my mother has always encouraged me to study, study hard and really achieve my goals because she couldn't do those herself as in like she couldn't you know she could have been something better than what she is right now but she gave up all that to raise me and my siblings and I credit everything all of this to my mother because my mother is a very kind woman very generous very very as if she's a very sacrificing type of woman like she would give up anything for you and I really hope wholeheartedly give this to my mother because if she really you know was selfish and she was telling me to do all the things for her and not really focus on my education and or she thought that my education is not as important as my brother's or for example and then I will not be able to achieve all of these things. So I really thank my mother for all of these things, for all the things that I've achieved in my life so far that are good. And she has never ever. And also all the sacrifices that she has done, my grades, my grades, my achievements are an outcome or a fruit of those. So I really cherish those things about my mother. And yeah, I've never spoken about my family members in my YouTube channel, but I feel like you need to really give credit where it's due. So yeah. And yeah, that will be the second question. The third question is very important for me to really achieve at this point, which is how can I make sure that everybody else can achieve the same grades as me or achieve this similar kind of a journey? I don't want you to copy me, but I want you to achieve the same good things that I achieve in my life because I like sharing those things as well. So what I want to do in terms of making sure that everybody can get the same grades as me or get better than me is to make sure that I make videos in terms of how to pass specific modules in the LPC, for example, property law, business law, litigation, and all those kind of things, because I understand, I completely understand how hard those were 
for me and it was very challenging for me to really pass them and, and so on so it's very important for me to make this as a duty for myself for you all to actually make all those videos i was gonna actually make those as a paid courses which means that i will make the video i'll put them on a website that i make and then i will make it basically paid for you guys so you will have to pay at least 10 pounds to watch them but then i saw how happy i felt that i passed yesterday and i didn't want to make those things paid in a way that you have to pay to watch those things so i'm gonna make those all of those things all of those how to pass certain modules all the modules in the lpc one by one for free because i see this as a gift um that god has given me so I want to use this platform to my fullest. I want to make sure that this is my legacy kind of a thing. And I want to make sure that everybody, whoever leaves, whoever watches my videos, they should be leaving from my channel thinking that this was very useful for me. I'm going to do this now. So yeah, this is the kind of plan that I wish to achieve. And uh, I also have an announcement at the end, which is very, very important for you all to really know. But yeah, this will be this video. <laughs> So this brings me to the end of today's video and I have an announcement to make which means that which is that um, I have two new channels. So the first one is Fazana's Adventures, which is all about shorts, about all my travel discoveries and food places that I explore in London and beyond. So please do go and check it out if you want to have some kind of it's like a TikTok of my world basically i don't like using tiktok so i'm going to be using another youtube channel as a way for me to upload all these videos where i share with you all my journeys in terms of discovering a new food place or a new travel place or a very cool exhibition in london or in turkey even or any other country for that matter so whatever i go i will make a video and basically post there and number two is fasana's legacy which i'll be making videos mostly about a lifestyle and mostly things that i never talk about in this youtube channel which is fasana slow because fasana slow is mostly dedicated to self-development you know education law and all those kind of things how to pass how to do do well in your driving test or how to uh, get over a failure or something like that so it's not really related to that kind of um things so i'm going to be sticking to those things in this channel but in the other channel fazana's legacy is all about you know lifestyle based things which are very personal things as well and i'm going to be making soon a very very cool video on my first ever youtube video on there uh, and whenever it's ready i will link it in the description box below for you to guys check it out and these will be some of the announcements i don't think i have anything else to say but hopefully, I hope that all the videos I'll be making in the future from now on um, till the end is going to be all about how to pass each specific modules in the LPC, which I know is very hard. And I'll see you guys in my next week's video.